Good morning, Stamping Friends. Welcome. How are you guys doing today? I hope you had a great weekend. We sure did. Kind of lazy and not too much going on. I visit with my mom and then a pool day, so it was fun and just kind of winding down these summer weekends while we have them. And we know what's ahead, holidays. Well, I wanted to let you know that Stampin' Up! is having a sale starting today, actually. And almost all of their designer series paper are on sale for this whole month. They're 15% off. Now, not 100% of them. There's some online exclusives that are not, but I just want to share just in case you're curious which ones are and aren't. So we have Bright and Beautiful, and we have Countryside In. We have Country Lace, Country Woods. Whoops and full of life it says lots of designs lily pond lane two pages of that one mediterranean blooms perennial lavender take to the sky thoughtful journey another two pager to market Unbounded Beauty, Wildly Flowering, and last but not least, Winter Meadow. So those are all the ones on sale, and if you place an order, don't forget if you earned a bonus coupon last month, this is the month you need to redeem it. So don't forget to put that code that was sent to you, and those are only good through the month. If you forget to do it, then it's lost because it's only good for redemp redemption this month. I'm really excited to share with you a fall project, kind of combining two different sets. And so um, I think you'll enjoy this. So let me turn my camera around and we will get started with today's project. I decided it's time to change gears a little bit. And so we're gonna move into the fall season here. And I dug out a stamp set that was um, new to us last year called Rustic Crate, but I'm gonna use it in a different way. I'm just gonna borrow the pumpkins here. So, um, we are going to use this for part of our project and then one more I'll pull out in just a second. But I want to show you something else that you may not have seen in the catalog. This is also an embossing folder. This is one of our 3D embossing folders, which means it's super thick and it takes the gray plate to go on top. And I always write on here, this side faces up. I like the, um, a lot of people wonder what way their paper should go. I like the, um, I like the indentations to pop up at me. Sometimes I use it the other way, but I marked it usually, usually, not all the time. It's the side that has the Stampin' Up! logo that should be your right side up, but I put a bigger sign there for my customers when they use it. All right, so what I did was I'm gonna use Very Vanilla today, and I already embossed this for you, but I just wanna show you how I put it in here. And I just set it like that. Now you can see that this corner isn't gonna have any bumps. So if you're gonna do any stamping with writing, you might wanna you know, leave that blank. Otherwise you can hike it up here and put even more leaves in with less of a spot to stamp. But anyway, I went about, well, you can see where I went, right here towards the bottom. All right, so once that's done, I just wanna lift it up so you can see it. Can you see it in the camera how it's nicely embossed? All right, and then for the base of the card, I'm gonna do tone on tone, which is very vanilla, eight and a half by five and a half. And then I just scored it in half. And let me grab my bone folder. I always like to use that. It gives it a nice crisp edge. All right, I think I'm gonna wait to put this on the card front. And so I'll set that aside. Now we're gonna build on this, but first we have to get the pumpkins going. Now, I'm, don't judge me on this. Look at how stained my stamp is. This shows you how much I used it. And I even cleaned it, <laughs> and this is it, cleaned. Before it was totally black and you couldn't even see the lines. But I want you to know, oh, my black is dirty too. I want you to know that this doesn't matter if it's dirty. It will still stamp the same way, and I will show you that. So um, I just took a scrap piece of very vanilla and I'm gonna grab my Memento ink because I'm gonna be using blends on this. So just ink that up. And then I'm gonna be die cutting it so it doesn't really matter where it falls here. All right, and then I'm gonna show you the palette of blends that I'm gonna use. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do light or dark, but I just pulled them all because I like these colors. So first of all, I have pumpkin pie, 
Daffodil Delight, these are both light and dark, Old Olive and Pecan Pie. All right, so I'm gonna color, and I usually start in the middle with the lightest color, and then I go back and shade, but I'm also gonna speed this up so you don't have to sit here for an, half an hour and watch me color. That I'm going to bring in is filled with fun but it's just the dies. I'm not going to use this stamp set because I'm going to use the pumpkins but I just want to show you what this comes with and again you cannot find this in a catalog because this is an online exclusive. So when you go to the website just go in the search area and type in online exclusives. So we are just going to use the dies and I'll show you what I mean but here's our pumpkins and I'll show you all the pieces that I cut out using the filled with fun dies. Okay, so this is the wagon. This is just the wagon handle. And I have two wheels here. These are gonna be in the center of the wheels. And I have one more piece. This piece goes on top of the wagon. It kind of gives that wood grain look. And I think pecan pie is the best fall color to just pull all your projects together. It's just such a nice, rich color. We used to have one that was similar to this called soft suede, but this is the new color and I just really like it. All right, let's start building the wagon now. I think I'm gonna get my craft sheet in case I get glue, cause these are tiny pieces. And this is basic black in case I didn't tell you. And that's just gold foil. All right, let's start by putting these wheels on. Now remember I used this um, uh, glue press. This is from the company My Sweet Petunia. And um, I, am a, I am an affiliate for this. So if you like this, you can go to my website and just click on the link and then I get credit for it. It's awesome because you just pull on this and um, you barely use any glue. Look at how fine a line that comes out and we're just gonna try to get these straight so they're both about the same height. All right, and then I think what I'm gonna do is, whoops, that one's a little bit too high. I should have my grid paper here to see. I'm gonna pop these up just because I want a little bit of dimension. So we'll take our mini glue dots and take your pick tool that has a nice little pointy end on the back and it's easy to stick those things and get them off easier. And this will go right in the center. It's hard to get into this fall mood sometimes because it's still in the hundreds here, but the show must go on. All the stores have fall and pumpkins and things like that. So it's just different living in Arizona. I, I remember when I first moved here, I was calling my friends saying, it's October and I, it's still shorts weather, but everybody has jeans on. I don't know if I should wear jeans or shorts or what. I could not figure out the seasons here because it was still so hot. But eventually I decided you just wear what you're comfortable in. And, all right, we're just going to put that handle on. And then the last part is this, and again, I want to raise this just because it's nice to give that a little bit of a dimension so it stands away from the wagon a little bit. Maybe one in the middle too. All right, I've used this one so much. We used it, um, well, normally I make red, red wagons, of course, traditional, but I wanted to turn it into fall. So this is kind of an experiment. Let's just put that right at the top. Just match those top edges and see how it stands out more when it's away from the wagon. All right, the next thing we would do is put these pumpkins in, but bef isn't that pretty? And let's get this card. So let me see how I wanna place this. For sure we need the wagon on the card. So I would say like this. 
So let me put dimensionals on the back. This one did not take very long. I thought it would take longer to make this. Even the coloring went fast, even though I sped it up. Like that. I guess I got this on a little bit crooked. Okay. And then we can just tuck these behind. And I think, I, normally I like to raise everything up. Well, maybe I should, I don't know, what do you think? I guess I will. <laughs> I was gonna say I'm not going to, so it looked like there was more dimension, but I just gotta pop it up. It's just part of who I am. When in doubt, pop it up. Now, once I get this on, then we're gonna put it on the front of the card, but we need to probably put some words on here somewhere. Maybe not. Oh, isn't that pretty? They should have added one in the stamp set. All the, They have flowers and um, gifts, and so, but they could have hit every season. We do have a new Christmas one that goes in this too, though I haven't ordered, but it hasn't arrived yet. All right, so the sentiment that goes on, I don't know. These are the ones that come with rustic crate, crate but you could really do anything. Have my um, next online card club. Maybe I'll just write on the August inside. I'm not 10th, sure where and I want we will it to be using go. the bundle because if I stamp on here, I already embossed nature. it, and these are too long anyway. If anything, I would probably do the for you, but I think I'll just leave it. I think it looks fine just like that, and then I can use it for really any occasion. So let me grab my dimensionals again, and this set is so fun. Not only do you, or can you use it with that little crate that it comes with, but it can go into that wagon, which is really fun. Makes it more versatile. I love when you can get a stamp set and use it many different ways. How many of you remember me using this last year? I did this for my online card club and that one I had a lot signed up for. A lot of people liked that bundle. And so um, I just decided to pull it out again. I was so glad that it didn't retire. Speaking of, in case you're interested in my online card club, the next bundle we will be using is Spotlight on Nature, and the deadline to sign up to get in on this month's projects is August 10th. I will have the links on my blog and on my Facebook page so you can click there to read more about it. One more thing I want to show you. I did add some adhesive back sparkle gems. These are so pretty. They come black kind of a goldish color, which I added here, and they also have silver, which you can color any color. So I added those. I could have used black or gold. I chose to use gold. And then also our black and white checked ribbon. I wanted to add this too. And it is, or actually not black and white, it's black and vanilla now, which is kind of why I chose the vanilla cardstock to make this card. And I just want to add this, um, I think in the front, let me grab a glue, mini glue dot. And that will be the finishing piece on here. And we'll just tuck this in this empty area here. There we go. All right, that makes it. All right, there you have it. Now, if you see any products that you like and um, would like to place an order, please go to my online store. And if you use the host code and if your order is over $50, you will receive a thank you card from me and also a Stampin' Up! product as my way of saying thank you so much for your business. Also, if you earned a coupon from bonus days last month, make sure you redeem that because those are only good until August 31st and then they will be void. So make sure you use those this month. Thank you again, everyone. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next Tuesday morning right here again. Bye-bye.